The Republican presidential candidates for 2016 are making a pilgrimage to Las Vegas. They want to go kiss the ring today of Sheldon Adelson, trying to get uh, some of his money. We are joined now by uh, Josh Green, who's going to explain all this to us. Josh, uh, what's the format today? Well, the format today is you have a lot of blue chip candidates coming out here to basically pay homage to Sheldon Adelson, uh, because not only is he one of the richest people in the world, but he's one of the richest Republican donors. So what's really going on out here is a Sheldon Adelson beauty contest. Uh, he is going to crown a Miss Republican, and you have a lot of blue chip contestants getting ready to strut their stuff. All right, so uh, Governor Chris Christie, Jeb Bush, uh, John uh, Kayish of uh, Kasich, rather, of Ohio, et cetera. Um, how are these guys actually going to be making their pitches to uh, Mr. Edelson today? What's, how's that actually going to happen? Well, there's a whole weekend's worth of events that are being sponsored by the Republican Jewish Committee. But uh, most of these candidates are coming out later today for a private dinner that Adelson is going to be throwing uh, in his private airplane hangar at McCarran Airport to honor Jeb Bush. Uh, so over the weekend, there are golf outings and scotch tastings. And in between that, Adelson is going to sit down and have a series of one-on-one -on -one, uh, coffees and meetings and listen to these guys kind of informally right. make a pitch for why they are the most elected. Candidate. I don't know why they didn't pick the surveillance jet hanger. That's a good hanger as well. Josh, do the Democrats <laughs> have an equivalent? Is there a Democrat Sheldon Adelson? Well, if you ask a Republican, they'd say the original Sheldon Adelson was George Soros, who's pumped uh, hundreds of millions of dollars into Democratic politics. Uh, you, you don't you don't have quite the same kind of personality. You know, George Soros doesn't have Democrats out at a big event and kind of parade them through with the media there. Uh, that's more of a Las Vegas Sheldon Adelson thing. But sure, they're billionaires on both sides. Right. But right now, the focus is on Republicans and who is Sheldon Adelson going to give his money yeah. to? Because last cycle, he spent $93 million on Republicans. It was very, and that's a lot of yeah, it was very successful. That's where I wanted to go. He spent $93 million, and <laughs> the governor of Massachusetts didn't take the trophy. What is Mr. Adelson doing different this time? Well, in 2012, Adelson was motivated by loyalty. Uh, he's, he's a good friend of Newt Gingrich. And so he and his wife, Miriam, gave Gingrich through a super PAC about $15 million, which probably did more to help President Obama than it did anybody in the Republican Party, because it was Newt, if you remember, who originally launched those devastating attacks on Romney as a vulture capitalist that Obama later picked up and used to win. Uh, after the GOP primary, Adelson shifted to Romney, but by that point, the damage was done. It was too late. This time around, Adelson's aides say he is motivated by winning. So he is looking this weekend to find the most electable mainstream Republican candidate he can find. Ah, mainstream. That's interesting. Are we going to hear uh, very quickly, Josh, are we going to hear social issues or are we going to hear tax issues all over again quickly? What we're going to hear is Israel. Sheldon Nielsen is a big Israel. We're, Hawk, we're not going to hear a lot of social issues, which may not be surprising for a guy who made all his money in Las Vegas. And we're going to hear about economic regulation. Those are the issues that interest Adelson the most. That's what we'll be talking about this weekend. Josh Green of Bloomberg Business Week. Thank you, sir.